Take care. Kiro Masse's pharmacy is a community hub in Toronto's East End. Between COVID vaccines, testing and treatment, it's been a busy few years. Pharmacists have already been doing a great deal over this pandemic to prevent things from escalating. As Ontario grapples with record long ER wait times and backlogs, pharmacists like Mossett believe they can help. When pharmacists are involved in the circle of care and they are part of the healthcare team, there is a reduction in hospital visits, there is a reduction in emergency room visits. Recent research out of the University of Waterloo backs up that claim. It found up to one third of avoidable hospital ER admissions could be managed by a pharmacy team, which is why many Ontario pharmacists have called for an expanded scope of practice. Pharmacists are part of the primary care team, we hope, uh, uh, we believe, and uh, we, this, will, this should go a long way, I think, to helping alleviate some of the stress. In January of 2023, the province is expanding the scope of pharmacists. They'll be allowed to prescribe medication for up to 13 minor ailments, including pink eye, urinary tract infections, and allergic rashes. And while it's being welcomed by pharmacists, many say they'd like to see that list expanded further. There are provinces that allow pharmacists to prescribe for all medications except for narcotics and controlled substances. The Ontario Pharmacists Association says it would like to see a greater prescribing authority and the ability to do more point of care testing and routine immunizations. Three things that uh, will free up resources and make sure people don't end up uh, presenting themselves into hospitals. Back at Masse's pharmacy, he too believes the changes could go further and be brought in sooner. It's set to start in January of next year and that's way too late. Adding, the time is now to take pressure off an already strained system. Farah Morali, CBC News, Toronto.